Hello, my friends. We are continuing our readings of Sri Aurobindo Savitri. We are in Canto 2. The way of fate and the problem of pain in Book 6, the Book of Fate. She shared, she bore the common lot of men and felt what common hearts endure in time. Voicing earth's question to the inscrutable power, the queen now turned to the still immobile seer. Assailed by the discontented nature's depths, partner in the agony of dumb driven things and all the misery all the ignorant cry passionate like sorrow questioning heaven she spoke lending her speech to the surface soul on earth she uttered the suffering in the world's dumb heart and man's revolt against his ignorant fate. O seer, in the earth's strain to natured life, by what pitiless adverse necessity, or what cold free cope a creator's will, By what random accident or govern chance that shaped a rule out of fortuitous steps made destiny from an hour's emotion came into the unreadable mystery of time the dire mystery of grief and pain is it thy God who made this cruel law? Awesome, disastrous power has marred his work and he stands helpless to defend or save. A fatal seed was sown in life's false trap with an evil twin with good on earthly soil. Then first appeared the malady of mind, its pang of thought, its quest for the aim of life. It twisted into forms of good and ill, the frank simplicity of the animal's act. It turned the straight path hewn by the body's gods followed the zigzag of the uncertain course of life that land is seeking for its aim in the pale starlight falling from thoughts skies its guides the unsure idea the wavering will lost was the instinct safe identity with the arrow point of being the inmost sight, marred the sure steps of nature's simple walk, and truth and freedom in the growing soul. Out of some ageless innocence and peace, prolege of souls not yet betrayed to birth, cast down to suffer on this hard, dangerous earth. Our life was born in pain and with a cry. 